This is an English listening practice. I will read the same sentence twice. Please fill the blank space with a word. Let's get started. In the Australian mammals, we see the process of diversification in an early and incomplete stage of development. After the foregoing discussion, which ought to have been much amplified, we may, I think, assume that the modified descendants of any one species will succeed by so much the better as they become more diversified in structure, and are thus enabled to encroach on places occupied by other beings. Now let us see how this principle of great benefit being derived from divergence of character, combined with the principles of natural selection and of extinction, will tend to act. In the Australian mammals, we see the process of diversification in an early and incomplete stage of development. After the foregoing discussion, which ought to have been much amplified, we may, I think, Assume that the modified descendants of any one species will succeed by so much the better as they become more diversified in structure, and are thus enabled to encroach on places occupied by other beings. Now let us see how this principle of great benefit being derived from divergence of character, combined with the principles of natural selection and of extinction, will tend to act. I have said a large genus, because we have seen in the second chapter, that on an average more of the species of large genera vary than of small genera, and the varying species of the large genera present a greater number of varieties. We have, also, seen that the species, which are the commonest and the most widely diffused, vary more than rare species with restricted ranges. Let be a common, widely diffused, and varying species, belonging to a genus large in its own country. I have said a large genus, because we have seen in the second chapter, that on an average more of the species of large genera vary than of small genera, and the varying species of the large genera present a greater number of varieties. We have, also, seen that the species, which are the commonest and the most widely diffused, vary more than rare species with restricted ranges. Let be a common, widely diffused, and varying species, belonging to a genus large in its own country.